Steve, a tremendous four-all draw here this afternoon. A draw indeed, but it feels more like a victory in some respects. How pleased are you with this afternoon's performance, or do you think there were errors? Fascinators. <laughs> um, the, you know, the, there's, there's the two ways to two ways you always take a, a special a four each game. You know, we we obviously we we related that we get back into the game and, and, and make it four each with one of the last kicks of the ball, and and, and they're deflated with them. Obviously, can see them when they've twice. Um, not three, three times actually had a, a two goal lead on us, um, you know. So, so with the with the character shown and the, the desire to keep going, it's and, and, and that you know I've never really doubted that to be honest with you with this group of players because they've 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 had that all season and and, and, and I've never really been in doubt. It's it's the the the, the errors that you said there that, that's uh, obviously my concern to to the first half, you know. That, you can't really have a 45 minutes as, as poor as that, to be honest with you, and, and, and really hope to get away with anything. And, and we have managed to get away with a point here today with, with having such a poor 45 minutes. Um, so, obviously, overall, we are happy to get the, the get the point. But on reflection of where we're going forward, there's, there's quite a few things that we need to be working on, yeah. Just to put a reflection on it, at half-time, Corby Town with 3-1 down. You've brought it back to end 4 all. So it's a, it's a great tremendous comeback of a game but as you say the first half was very very disappointing with things not particularly going right a silly soft penalty being given away and then you, you, you've got a chat on your hands in the dressing room at half time yeah and no, we're going 3-1 uh, down at half time and, and you know from what I see at the side I've got to then restructure uh, different parts of the different parts of the team and and, and make sure that, that, that you know the, the bits that I see where our frailties are that we can we can plug that and and make sure that we're going forward in a positive manner. And I think we've done that really well in the in the second half. And you know the amount of chances that we created in the second half was 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 incredible. You know, but you know we, we never we never quite done that in the first half, and we never we never obviously defended well enough. But on the on the on the on the second half, we've 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 went at it. You know, we've we've not went we've not went completely gung ho. We've 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 done it in a way that I believe that had we started the first half like that, we'd we'd have been probably fairly comfortable. But but, you know, today it's a, it's a game of two poor defences. It certainly was, and, and as you say, that's reflecting in the scoreline of being 4 all. For, for a neutral uh, watcher here this afternoon, it would have been a tremendous game of football, but of course nobody's neutral here, <laughs> either Sutton fans or Corby Town fans. Um, as I say, it does feel as if you've come back with a victory at the end of it, scoring in almost the last minute of the game, Elliot Sandy scoring two goals, do you bring Corby that result and that draw? But does that make it difficult for you new for yourself this afternoon because of the fact that you've you've now picked up this game in hand over the league leaders? No, we've, we've, we've taken a point closer to them. You know, we've, we've, we're a point closer to the to the, the league leaders, and, and away from home, we've picked a point up. You know, if if you win your home games and you pick points up away from home, you're, you're going to be you're going to be there or thereabouts come the end of the season. So, you know, from that point of view, getting back into it with the with the you know the character and desire to to, to do that at the end is is absolutely magnificent. I mean, you can't take anything away from that. You know, up and down the leagues, regardless of, 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 of where you are in the pyramid, if you've got a team who can keep going to the, the, the 94th, 95th minute in a game, that, that shows something about the team. That shows that shows what kind of what kind of spirit we've got in that changing room and the togetherness and the, the, the understanding of it, we can do this, we can still do this, and, 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 and that's what we've got in abundance. And it's it's you know it's, it is an absolute pleasure to have that in the changing room because it, it gives you such a good place to go from. You know, yeah, okay, we've made we've made a few errors with giving away the penalty and, and the shape in the first half was was poor, but you know the five games previous to that we've lost two goals. So you know, but yeah, okay, we've had we've had a day off. Uh, today defensively but on the flip side of that we've, we've got a point we've been magnificent going forward especially in the second half and there's a lot lot of positives to come away from that game today and and you know it's my job to look at the negatives and work on that but we have a lot of positives on there and, and, and I, I, you know like I said okay I might I might might not feel, look at it right now but I am happy to get that point because it takes us a point closer level games and, and it's all to play for away of course again next week another trip on the road for Colby Town um, it, another another challenge Absolutely, you know we, we've got three in a row. Uh, we've got we've got we had today. But, um, we've got next Saturday and Tuesday away to Welling uh, Welling Garden City. So we've got three away games, three tough games, uh, and then back at home to, to Bedford Town. So you know it is a tough period. It's, it's going to be a tough period for us um, getting through the next couple of weeks. But you know that that if, uh, you've got to, you've got to go up against each team and you've got to see what's in front of you and and, and, and keep dealing with what's in front of you. Especially if you want to you know if you if we're going to mount a, a title challenge, uh, then then we've got to we've got to keep going and keep 
keep putting performances in and, 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 and making sure that the mistakes are at a minimal because today there were too many mistakes for me today but you know if we keep those mistakes at a minimal then we give ourselves a real good chance to kick on and uh, make it a really positive season because we've we've, we've came through uh, the first half of the season bang on point tallies you know we've we've, we've taken um, 45 points from the, the first half of the season there which is which is absolutely magnificent you know that that's exactly what we're to be looking at then we're looking at we've had a decent cup run as well at the start of the season you know we've 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 we've, we've had a, a a really good exciting season now it's our job with just the, the 17 league games to go to make sure it's still an exciting season to make sure it's a positive season and and the only way to do that is make sure we stop the silly mistakes and keep being exciting going forward steve appreciate your time today thanks very much Brilliant. thanks very much cheers